Hi friends, good morning and welcome back to the second episode of Learn Photography Series. Friends, I need some motivation and a lot of support from you all and I just need you to subscribe to my channel so that I keep on coming forward with more chapters in this Learn Photography Series. And yes, please do not forget to spread the word and share it among your friends. And most important of all, do press the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever a new video is uploaded. So today we will learn about light. If you remember in last chapter I told you that photography is all about light and a photograph cannot be created without light. So uh, since this chapter is all about light, it is a very very important chapter. Broadly there are two types of lights. One is natural light or the available light and the other one is artificial light. Well sun is the only source of available light. Moon also has a lot of light which photographers use extensively to create photographs. But that light also is the light of sun that gets reflected by the moon. Since most of the amateur photographers use a lot of natural light, so here we will talk about natural light. And yes, for artificial light, we will come up with dedicated episodes. So the best time to do any kind of photography is in the mornings and the evenings. Two to three hours around sunrise and sunset. And in photography, these times are referred as the golden hour. The best time to click any kind of photograph. Majorly all the photographers rest in the afternoon. They do all the processing work and all in these times. Light can further be divided into different categories based on the quality and direction of the light. Uh, like harsh light or hard light wherein you get deep shadows, dark shadows on a photograph or the, in other words you can say the photograph is more contrasty. And a soft light or diffused light you get very uh, soft shadows or uh, you can call it as uh, an image which is less contrasty if you compare it with the harsh light photograph. Harsh light can be transformed into soft light using diffusers available in the market and uh, light being harsh or soft depends on a lot of factors like uh, the source if is smaller and farther the light is harsh the source of light if is larger and closer to the subject the light is soft well if we talk about the direction of the light the subject can be front lit side lit or back lit all these different types of directions give different feel to the subject so it depends actually on the photographer what is the kind of light he needs on the subject well, if you are shooting in uh, natural light, uh, we don't have much option but to move our model to achieve the kind of lighting we want. Uh, whereas, if we are working with artificial lights, yes, we can move the lights and can achieve the desired results. Well, uh, nowadays, uh, artificial light is getting mixed with natural light to achieve some incredible results. Well, we'll learn about this and a lot of new chapters in the upcoming topics of the Learn Photography series. I just want you to stick to it, keep practicing. Photography is all about practice and nothing else. You keep on practicing, you'll start getting good results. And yes, please do subscribe to my channel so that you keep notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Thank you so much.